Hello everyone. Today I want to look at using the Flowcode software with our Eblox 2 um, hardware boards. Here we have the uh, DSPIC BL0032 upstream board and we have the BL0114 combo board as a downstream board. If I create a new project and under 16-bit PIC, MISC, we have the BL0032 board. So I click New Project. If I click on Component Libraries, Hardware, then under eBlocks 2, we have the combo board. I bring up the properties for the board. You can see the various connections, uh, which ports we've got plugged into. We've got the um, analog pins for the light sensor and the potentiometer. And we've also got the ability to turn on um, scope traces on our data recorder window. So if we go to view and data recorder, you can see that by selecting yes, we have two traces that appear here. I'm going to create a very simple program that basically reads the potentiometer and the light sensor and displays the values onto the LCD display. So let's bring up our Project Explorer and this just shows us all of the various macros associated with this component. First of all I'm going to start the LCD then I'm going to print some strings. Um, so first of all, I'm going to print LDR with a colon. I'm going to call the cursor command to move to the first character of the second line. I'm then going to print another string and this time I'm going to print pot. And then I'm going to create my main loop and this will be where we spend most of our time while we're running the program. I'm going to create two variables, um, both of type unsigned int. Uh, one I'm going to call LDR and the other I'm going to call pot. Back to my component functions, I'm going to read analog as int. If I hover over channel, you can see that channel 0 is the light sensor and channel 1 is the potentiometer. So let's read channel 0 and store that into LDR. And let's read channel 1 and store that into pot. I'm going to set the display cursor position to the sixth character on the first line. I'm going to print the number. LDR and then going to print a short string containing uh, spaces and this just helps us to get rid of any um, characters remaining from the last write. I'm then going to go to the sixth character of the second line. I'm going to print the pop variable. I'm going to print my space string again and now I'm going to have a short delay of 100 milliseconds and this just gives us time to see the value so it's not constantly um, changing. I'm going to save the project BL0032 demo yeah. so now I can run the simulation I can see the values on the LCD and I can move my potentiometer up and down and it all works well well, next thing we can do is we can go build and compile to target. So the program will be compiled. It'll show us things like the memory usage on board the chip for the ROM and the RAM. And then it'll start sending the program to the board. So we have uh, our LED here called marked uh, USB. It starts lighting up, flashing away, while the program's transferred to the microcontroller on the board. And here we go. There's our program running on the board. 
hard to see, but as I change the potentiometer value, you can see the value going up and down. And if I turn my light on, it's even harder to see. Um, you can see my LDR reading going up and down. So Ebox 2 um, has something called Ghost Technology and that allows Floco to do a bit more um, than just simply programming the hardware. So the first thing it allows us to do, if I go to my um, view and data recorder window, is, well in the simulation, if we go to debug and run, in the simulation this would basically show us things like analog values, digital values. Um, but if I stop the simulation and click the ghost button, this now takes the values directly from the hardware. So if I bring my camera feed back, then you can hopefully see as I cover up the LDR, let's bring our light source back on. You can see that in real time the LDR is showing us values and also with the pots I can adjust the values and obviously I can do things like select it and zoom out and you can see on a, over a much longer time period and you can see my fingers um, going over the light sensor okay so that is um, that's basically a thing called in circuit test which is part of ghost I'll turn this back off another feature of ghost is in circuit debug so if I turn this on and then I'll have to reprogram the chip turning the ICD on basically allows every component uh, every every icon of our program to have a, a unique breakpoint value and that allows us to do things like set individual breakpoints but it also allows us to um, run the, the, the device at certain speeds um, and allows us to see the, the execution in real time which I'll show you in a moment so our USB LED is flashing away again and this time when we're finished our ICD LEDs come on and the screen is blank. That's because the chip is there ready and waiting for instructions from flow code. So if I now um, click the go button, it warns me that the ICD pins are being used. They're basically being used by this component, but they're not used by um, the LDR or the pot or the display. So we're safe to proceed and click OK. So our program's running. If we want, we can uh, slow it down so we can see the execution in real time. You can see it running around. If I bring the hardware back up, you can see that uh, our program is still running. Albeit quite slowly now because we've, we've turned the speed right down. What we can also do is we can add our LDR and pot variables and as I change them on the hardware you can see that the the ICT is monitoring the values and the ICD is monitoring the program execution and reading the variable values. Now what I can also do is pause and I can um, do things like stepping And so hopefully the you can see that the, the, the combination of flow code together with eBlocks, uh, specifically eBlocks 2, allows for a very powerful um, way to develop and debug your programs. As always, I've been Ben Rowland, this has been Flow Code version 9, and many thanks for watching.